Hey everybody, it's V, the Pizza Boy, and today I'm joined by... The Lonely Song. So, you've probably seen that there is a new trailer for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, and today we're going to be talking about our 10 hopes for Three Hopes. Ha! So, how this is going to go down is that we have 10 total, and so we're each just going to be alternating um, between ours until we, you know, we hit 10. So yeah, go ahead. What's yours, Song? Alright, so, you know... Every time a new video game comes out, this question is always pressing in my mind. And that is, are these characters going to be hot? Specifically the guys, because I am into those guys. Like, so, let me tell you about post time skip Dimitri. Like, he can f- <laughs> And so I guess that we already know what these characters kind of look like because, you know, Three Houses already came out and, you know, they did a mostly good job on making these guys smoking hot. But you know what? They can still f*** it up in Three Hopes. All right, here's me hoping that they give me some hot guys in here. From the trailer, it doesn't seem like Claude has those ugly sideburns. Okay. I think they looked okay. They were the only person I have seen with good like sideburns like that like like what like mutton chops at that work no really no yeah you know, i don't really trust trust your taste in hair as you have failed with your own my hair is great um okay so my number uh five so i would like all student characters to return and including the the ashen wolves from the dlc and specifically because like looking at th uh heroes specifically and seeing like just the sort of i don't know i don't want to say inequality but like the way that all characters are just like treated like differently so you'll see a lot of like the same characters like getting attention and the other ones just not and i really hope we don't see that again in three hopes because this is three houses so we should see the entirety of Three Houses come back. At least the the student characters. And I'd love to see them all have new designs and everything too, instead of just, you know, copy and pasting their outfit or something from Three Houses. I, I assume that they're, they're, they are, or at least everyone who's coming back is going to have a new design and everything. But I, I am going to be very disappointed if, like, Ignatz doesn't show up, because to my knowledge, I could be wrong, he is still not in Heroes. And he deserves it. He deserves heroes. He deserves to be left out of heroes. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not saying that. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. He deserves if to be If he heroes. was better, he wouldn't have a bowl cut post time skip. Everyone else knew that bowl cuts are so out. It was out of fashion even back then in what medieval times they have. So... It's not a bowl no. cut. It's an undercut. It's still shaped actually, like... Actually, like, like Lorenz. It's, it's, a, it's an undercut. It's not actually... Oh, Lorenz bowl. had it too? Yeah, he had an, he had an undercut. No, like Lawrence is fucking ugly. Oh my god. See, they both. That is something we can agree on. Lawrence is ugly. And so is Ignat. Ignatz is not ugly. I stand by that fact. I will die on that. That is statement. not a fact. That is an opinion, and your opinion is wrong. It is a fact. A fact that you are wrong. Oh my. You are factually incorrect. All right. What is your number four? Okay. So before. I was only really talking about the guys, but you know what? Let's not discriminate. I want some good looking girls in there too, because there will be other people that, you know, really want some good bumpy jumpies now and then, you know? Bumpy me, jumpies. Yeah, me included sometimes. So, you know, I really liked Edelgard's hair in the trailer. Here's to hoping that they got some good looking improvement designs with the other girls too, you know? Okay, so what is your number four, V? Okay, so my number four is better DLC at least compared to warriors the f i mean warriors one so warriors one in my opinion has some pretty bad dlc so i have it pulled up here i'm not sure if this is entirely accurate so we had a couple of dlc packs the first one was free and it was just a japanese voice pack that's not really dlc it just kind of they had to have it separately just so the download wasn't too big so first we got the fire emblem fates pack which generally all of them added a new costume or a couple of new costumes and three new characters now and excuse me three maps i believe either one map per or three maps total. So my issue with the DLC is that the characters are exactly the same as the base game characters. I'm not entirely sure about Azura, but pretty much all of them are exactly the same as characters you get in the actual game. So Aurora, I'm pretty sure is just a clone. 
Niles is, I believe, is a clone as well. I, I used to use Azura actually when I would play, just because she had a special sort of like um, attack where she would sing Lost in Thoughts. based on like you could it would actually change based on her outfit which i thought was cool but the other characters I, I didn't even bother so the next one was navar minerva and lind i didn't even try with them either because you have to grind them separately but are all also just clones and then we have the last one owain tharja and olivia who are again I'm pretty sure just clones olivia i think does play a little differently she does not play like just rioma um but owain i'm fairly sure is also just rioma so i mean considering that you have to pay for these and you have to pay for all of these separate or the full season pass I, I really think that needs to have more variety so if we're, if we're going to pay for more DLC and more characters then it needs to be something substantial instead of just clones of the base game so what do you think Wow, that's pretty radical, and I definitely was paying attention throughout all of that nerd talk. Fine, what is your number three? So my number three is that my version of Edge of Dawn that I sent to Nintendo on Betamax cassettes will be included in the official Three Hopes soundtrack. Reach for my hand, I'll soar away into the dawn. Oh, I wish I could stay here in cherished homes in peaceful days. I feel the edge of dawn, hoping time be trash. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that was pretty trash. But did you hear that I sent mine in on an MP3 player? Yeah, let me let me uh, let me look for it on my computer. Watch this, watch it. You're gonna be blown away. You're gonna be blown away. Fate like pass to color glass in this beloved place. Silver shines, the world dines, a smile on each face. As there's around comfort of <laughs> Ow! 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 Ah! Oh, I hit my head. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna stop now. Wait, that's a fire alarm? Oh my god, what is going on? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, they sent me this thing. I'm not really sure, like a cease and desist. So I'm assuming they're gonna like contact me later. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. So the, what is your number three? So my number three is equal attention to house leaders. Specifically, obviously in three houses, you're going to have, depending on your path, you're gonna have more of a, a focus on each house leader. I wanna make sure that if there is no paths and it is a linear story, we should be focusing on all three. Maybe have an equal amount of chapters per house leader. I think it was three houses are kind of like genius in the fact that they, they gives you barely any time with the, the house leader like you have the same chapter with all three and then you have to decide which house leader you're going to go with unless you're like you know like us who was following the game up until launch and cho chose who you wanted to which house you wanted before the game even came out but i mean for new players who didn't know anything about the game like that's as much and i think that was genius and i think they need to keep that sort of spirit alive yeah i mean for me personally, I thought that there was a bit too much focus on Edelgard. I get that Edelgard was like the one that started the majority of the problems that the other characters have to face, but to me she was just such a boring character. I mean, I guess she's interesting if you delve deep enough, but I don't know, I just didn't enjoy being around her as much as I did with Dimitri and Claude and even Yuri. With Edelgard, she has like a lot of backstory that's really fascinating, but then just her personality, something about it was just, it was too one note. What I liked about Dimitri was he suffered a lot too. Maybe not as much as Edelgard, but he, you, you could see the difference in his character like he was very there was a lot of nuance to his character and, and even Claude was more than he seemed on the surface Edelgard was just serious and just kind of stayed serious throughout which is understandable but like I wish there was more time 
paid to the other characters that just seemed more balanced in terms of personality dynamics and whatnot. Yeah, she is a very like serious character. Like I- I'm pretty sure it's like heavily implied that she has a crush on Byleth, which is I mean I guess I, I don't know. Like I-, I don't really have any comment on that, but it is it is something. But at the same time, there's not much. She is a well defined character. I will say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, she is. She she does have a lot going on with her, and she you know all of her like you can pretty much assume all of her motives depending on like no matter what path you're playing on. It's just there isn't a lot to I guess enjoy. I mean it depends on the person because people really enjoy Edelgard and people really hate Edelgard, and it's it's just kind of weird to me because she's pretty much in three out of four paths she is the antagonist, and only in one of them is she the protagonist. And even then, like it's sort of like hidden. Like you have to go out. You have to go out of your way to unlock Crimson Flower. So, like, she's always portrayed as the the antagonist. So I can understand, like, people who played Crimson Flower last not liking her. Because, I mean, she's just... She is the villain for most of the game. She is she is the antagonist for most of the game. Yeah, and I mean, even when I played Crimson Flower and the other paths too, with her as a protagonist and an antagonist, she just still wasn't that interesting to me. So I would like if this didn't turn into like this one didn't turn into the Edelgard show, which kind of Three Houses kind of turned into just a bit and focused uh, more on the other characters as well because to me just all the other characters just seemed like more interesting even like the more minor characters like all the other students not just the house leaders just intrigued me more than Edelgard. So even if they paid attention to like the students themselves more rather than the house leaders, I would be great. Just a more well-rounded focus instead of it just being a lot of focus on Edelgard. Yeah, I mean, you know, actually, now that I think about it, like I was going to say like a, a criticism of Edelgard is that like she uses you, she uses Byleth to get to her position and she even like betrays Byleth and that's when like they decide whether to join up with them. But she has to betray you first. And I mean, I was just thinking like, pretty much all the house leaders will use you or use Byleth in one way or another, like to get their own goals. Like, Dimitri uses Byleth to sort of get his revenge. And then eventually he sort of unites once he, you know, starts to get better and starts to realize what's going on with him himself. And Claude, I mean, is a sort of like trickster kind of character. Like he he never fully shows his cards on the table, you know? And I feel like all three of the characters like use you in some way, but they're also like your friend or they like you. And I, I mean, I think that people put that on Edelgard, but in reality, it's it's really on all three. Yeah, Three Houses definitely had some interesting characters. Well considering that we just came back from the amazing characters of Fire Emblem Fates. Woohoo! Uh, go Corrin, you know. Ha 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 ha, yay. Pickle Boy, woo! Yeah, yeah I kind of liked Pickle Boy. So yeah, what's our next one? Number uh, number two, right? Yeah. Oh boy. This one I, I'm really hoping and really excited for. I'm hoping they at least animate this at 24 frames per second. Whoa. Okay, like Whoa. a whole 24 frames. You're asking quite a bit. I know. I don't know how the little goblin in the Switch is going to draw that fast. Like, it's crazy. It's the goblin in the Switch. Yeah. Mr. Vidya. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it might be a lot to put on that goblin. But I'm, I'm really hoping they pull through with the 24 frames per second. All right, V, what is your penultimate hope for Three Hopes? So this might be shocking, and I think a lot of people aren't going to agree with me, but I think that this game should be a linear story and should not have branching paths. Okay, so what is your number one hope? Okay, okay, so this is going to be, like, really funny, right? But, uh, I hope that Fire Emblem Three Hopes makes me feel happiness again. Yeah, me too. Man. Okay, my number one. (laughs) So... My number one is, isn't is actually like that big compared to everything else, and that is better boss fights. Now, from what I remember from Warriors, I actually haven't played many other Warriors or Musuo games before. I played like the first 
two levels of Hyrule Warriors and I, I got bored. And I have bought the Berserk Musuo. I don't know if that's by Bandai Namco. I have not played it yet because I'm still reading it. From what I can tell, and at least from my experience in Fire Emblem Warriors, the boss fights were not good. They just straight up just were not fun to fight. They tended to be like really high HP and they, you don't really spend time like when they get harder, you just they just have more health. And I've never liked that diff kind of difficulty in games where an enemy has more health therefore they're really hard or like harder difficulties turn up the hp of enemies and that's it. they don't act any different they don't do anything different so i am i am looking forward to see if they have better boss fights or is it going to fall flat that's my question and i really hope that the boss fights are better and better planned instead of just this dude got a lot of health watch out thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe i have more videos on the way that i'm planning um, if you like cut and unused content, I've done two videos for three houses. So if you're interested, um, check it out. It, a link will be in the description. Thanks, everyone. Dude, 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 I have an idea. Let's resend our tapes, but as a duet. Hey, for my hand, I'll score away. Into the dawn, oh, I wish I could stay Here perish hall, in peaceful day I'm Oh! Ow! Oh, are you kidding me? Is that a cat? What's that? I'm kidding you! Oh my god, cut it, cut it right now